Okay, made it to the top, taking the heart rate right now. First time in probably 10 years. All right, here we go. And it's naked for all to see. Okay, okay. So I realize that is not the most scientific way to take your heart rate. I did it for 30 seconds, 59 beats. So multiply that by two, that's 118. Uh, and I did 1800 feet of vertical gain over almost four miles, as I already mentioned, uh, about 11 minutes a mile. So not, you know, just cruising up the mountain. And I am not a heart rate trainer. I am not. And that's why this is the first time in almost 10 years that I've taken my heart rate. It's just not what I do. And I'll explain why down at the car or maybe back at the house. But the key word of the day is heart. Heart is the key word. I just teach me your ways. And uh, I'm curious to hear your thoughts as to uh, your th philosophy behind heart rate training. Bottom line, I do not train by heart rate, but that was interesting. 59 beats in 30 seconds after that amount of climbing at elevation. We topped out, I think this is, uh, let, me, let me look here. I should know this. Yeah, so we are at 8,000 feet of elevation, just over 8,000 feet. So pretty good, pretty good. And there you have it. Time to go back down. The goal is eight miles today, eight miles. All right, here we go. Just pausing for a second on my way down to look for my sunglasses that I lost. It was, it was here in the woods. They fell off on one of my runs somewhere here, right around here. So anyway, that's why I haven't been wearing my orange uh, Smith sunglasses that I love so, so much. And uh, I know it was somewhere around here. Oh, heartbreak. Ooh, maybe down this way. Ice, slow down, ice, ice. There we go, YouTube, there we go, YouTube. Okay, eight miles, a little over eight miles, uh, so 12 kilometers. Went about 10, a little over 10 minutes a mile for the average up and down. And then, so I think that's converting six minutes in 10, six, a little over six minutes per kilometer uh, with 2,000 feet of vertical. So 2,000 up, 2,000 down. And this is my first uphill effort of 2019. I've been running now for, I don't know, nine or 10 days. So just, you know, waking the body up. And now I love, love, if you're new, you're gonna figure out real quick that I love uphill running. And I really think it's beneficial for overall fitness and aerobic development. And in case you were wondering why I have this car and why I was wearing my Nike Vomero 14s today on the trails, don't do that. They are not trail shoes, but basically I had to get an oil change in my car today and I forgot my Solomon Speed Cross 4s. I wish I would have worn those today uh, just for this more aggressive rocky trail running. And so I had to choose the next be best option available and so it was the Vomero 14s, but they are not a trail shoe. Good grip, pretty good lug action, but way too wide of a a footprint for negotiating those rocky uh, trails. So anyway, all right, back to the house. Oh my goodness, we're gonna talk about the heart rate and all that good stuff. Oh, I don't even know, I don't even know where to begin this discussion, but we'll figure it out together. We'll figure it out together. Okay, come on YouTube. And we're back and we're back. Oh my goodness, what a day, what a day. Okay, heart rate discussion is coming up, but I'm also getting ready for the live stream tonight. Remember, every Wednesday it's gonna happen, 7 p.m. Mountain Time. But the internet is crazy. Like it's a, it's a it's a mystery sometimes to figure out live streaming. But I think we're getting closer to perfecting it. This is only our second time ever. 
Bottom line, shout out to Larry. Uh, he came out, Larry the cable guy, no, Larry the internet service provider who came out to our house today to basically connect our internet to the fiber optic cables in the neighborhood. So I guess we have fast internet now. We'll see, we'll see. It looks like I just did a speed test. It's looking fast, but hopefully the live stream went off without a hitch if you were able to watch last night because this is the vlog publishing the day after, if that makes sense. All right, just getting ready. Woo! Let's fire it up. Fire it up, boom, boom, boom. Stand by, stand by, feeling good. Everything's turned on, almost. Gotta fire up the other camera, shutting this camera down. We will see you in one hour. Talk to talk about the heart rate stuff. There you go, live stream in the books, so fun. Oh my goodness, it was about an hour long. If you were not able to watch it live, uh, you can go click upper right hand corner, check it out. We talked about high school training, high school running, my experience in high school. Talked a little bit about how I walked on to the University of Colorado's cross country team. Talked about uh, marathon training, racing shoes, racing tactics. It was amazing. Upper right hand, I think you'll enjoy it. I think you'll enjoy it. And the audio was perfect. The audio, no issues with the audio. Uh, just need to do a couple more tweaks for next week, uh, next week's live stream. So thank you for tuning in if you were there live. But again, if you were not, you can check it out. Uh, all right, heart rate training. Uh, let's see. I I'm questioning. I'm questioning. You remember I took my heart rate at the top of the mountain today in the foothills, and I hope I don't know if I did it correctly actually. And that goes to prove that I truly, I am not a heart rate trainer. That is not how I train. And I had 118 beats per. And I was not, you know, I was not digging hard at the top. But uh, basically, why do I not train by heart rate? My coaches in high school and college. We did not train that way. We did not wear those heart rate belts around our chest. Now, some athletes did. I will acknowledge that. Some athletes chose to do that. Um, and I'm not saying that my coaches, you know, Mark Wetmore at CU, I'm not saying he's against it. I actually don't know his full philosophy behind heart rate training. But I will just tell you that what we emphasized in college and what I like to lean into now as a 33-year-old is sensory data sensory data that was kind of the the phrase that we used to talk about monitoring our running in the hard workouts all the time frankly but in the hard workouts in the races being really tuned in to our sensory data meaning uh how do we feel like that's the really layman's way to say it like how do you feel when you're doing a lactate threshold repeat workout and I don't just mean your breathing. I don't just mean uh, your your muscles. It's all together. And that's where I guess I lean in the direction of not training by heart rate. Uh, meaning like, you know, looking down at my watch and seeing, okay, oh boy, I'm spiking up to 160 uh, right now. I need to drop it down to 130. Um, I lean in the direction of listening to the entire body. So even if my heart rate is at 160, but my legs still feel great, you know, like how, what, what's going on there? What's good? Like, I don't know. I just focusing just on heart rate, I think can get you into a little bit of trouble. And listen, I don't want to, I don't want to rain on anyone's parade. Like if you train by heart rate, guess what? I'm leaning into your expertise and experience right now because I am intrigued by it, but I'm just not familiar with heart rate training. I've never done it. Okay, I've worn a heart rate belt around my chest with a watch, I think once in my life in high school, once in my life. So truly, I'm leaning into you guys right now down in the comments to share your expertise if you do heart rate training. And listen, I'm not completely opposed to it. And in fact, I'm actually interested when I go run the 14,000 foot peaks here in Colorado and I'm running for an FKT, for example, a fastest known time, like all out at 13,000 feet above sea level, I'm a little curious, like what is my heart rate up there? I have frankly no clue. I have no clue. I don't know if it's 175, is it 185, is it a, like I don't know where it's at. And a couple of you have commented on Strava wondering like what is my heart rate in some of these mountain settings. And so 
all I'm all I'm trying to say is that I think there are there could be benefits to heart rate training especially you know what especially for runners that are a little newer to the sport and really have no idea with respect to pacing easy days versus hard days um, threshold days uh, tempo days and they might just need a little bit of guidance and they can really dial in their workouts through their heart rate um, that's so I could see some value there but at the same time sensory data that phrase that terminology can be really I think beneficial for monitoring your entire body your breathing your muscles your even your uh, your tendons and ligaments like I know when I'm doing ultra races on really bad court like rough terrain like my ankles start getting tired and so even like that little tiny stuff like monitoring your entire body I digress I'm gonna stop there keyword again is heart and yes the question of the day do you use heart rate training if so we're leaning into your expertise to share like your experience I'm I'm genuinely curious about this topic and if you don't use heart rate training are you open to that idea because guess what I'm actually looking for a new watch and I've heard that a lot of the new watches can take your heart rate right off your wrist like you don't even need to wear that band across your chest which is probably one of the reasons why I'm kind of like I don't want to do that I don't want to wear a band across my chest I don't know and listen if you don't have any thoughts or comments that's okay but maybe scroll down and just start reading and I bet you learned something because I know I'm going to. I know I'm going to. So thank you for sharing your expertise, especially if you have experience with heart rate training and like the Maffetone training system. And oh my, is that, am I saying that right? Maffetone? Um, that's a whole nother topic that I'd be also interested in learning about. You guys are amazing. That is it for today. Thanks for tuning into the live stream. If you were there, if not, guess what? We'll be back next week. Seek beauty, work hard. Each other. Ooh, see them all. See them all. Mm.